based on that language. part. Yeah. Well, you have to watch it again. All right. See, that's what you get for watching it in the morning. I know. Just I just forget everything. <laughs> okay, guys, we know. No sound. We're not talking about anything important. So. We could pretend to. <laughs> we could pretend to be whispering. Now, and now, now we okay. have sound. All right, now that we've like spoiled all of the Mandalorian, <laughs> <laughs> we just didn't want to give the spoilers to today's episode, so we just yeah, I haven't didn't seen have it audio yet. Going. I'm very spoiler sensitive. So. You are very spoiler sensitive. The sound is here. Audio works. Yes. Yeah, sorry about that, everyone. Uh, and hello. Now we're here. Um, so this Mac Pro came a lot earlier than we were expecting. Yeah, so our delivery window wasn't until like the week of Christmas. Yeah. But it is here now. Um, and Unfortunately, it's the week of Fixmas. Yeah, it's the week of Fixmas. So Sam and I actually have iFixit's annual Fixmas party later today. And so we are trying to get out of here as quick as possible so we can go set up for that, which is why we're in our Christmas attire. Holiday garb. Uh, but we didn't want to make you guys wait uh, for our teardown. Well, no, we, we're going to make you wait for our teardown. <laughs> we're going to do that next week. But we thought since we have this here, we could do a quick you know, initial impressions video. Uh, this should be real short and sweet because we're trying to get out of here. Yeah, good good content, solid, solid content, but the analysis will come later. That'll be Monday. Or and Tuesday. Tuesday. Probably Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, so as you can see, we actually didn't order a Mac Pro with wheels, so we thought it would be fun to do a giveaway. So we're going to give away $50 to the iFixit store if you can come up with a Photoshop solution of what we should do instead. I'm, I'm really bummed. I'm actually really bummed that we didn't get wheels. Like, so we have, to, we have to figure out some kind of solution. We had a Twitter poll earlier if you want some ideas, um, but just come up with like some image that we can hopefully include in the teardown would be ideal. Um, but of a way that we can port this thing around because it's like, it's like seriously, it's really it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. Uh, one of our engineers that actually put this in his car had to keep it lifted above his. Yeah, the, <laughs> the shifter. It's yeah, just he like sent us a really like... funny picture this morning. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff, for making you do that. Um, and I just realized how big this Apple logo is. I don't think I've ever seen one that big before. It's a very so. large mirror, and you've got a very large grate, too. I can't wait to grate some cheese on this. this and is such a good time. I brought cheese in a grater because <laughs> it was just too good of an opportunity. So we will be testing out. I don't know how good. I mean, put your votes in later. now. Like, what's going to be a better cheese grater? Cheese grater or Mac Pro? Nobody knows. Better is also subjective. So you know. All right. So we're going to get started and take this case off. Um, if you have any questions during the stream, go ahead and drop them into the channel. Um, if you have anything that you want us to investigate for the teardown, put that in the channel as well. Awesome. And uh, we'll do our best to kind of look at that when we're done with our Christmas party. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'm just going to start by opening it up, I think. I yeah. mean, you guys have kind of seen the outsides of this thing for a while. We have grater on this side and then ports and uh, expansion slots on the other side. Um, handle is here and allegedly this is like the the power off switch you mm. heard that mm -mm. so I'm not sure how that works I don't really feel anything super magnetic but maybe we can look under the case when we get it open and that's ooh. Can, you stay with uh, can you hear that you guys is are that already... like is that ASMR enough that it's a little like grindier than I was expecting but because this thing's so large we have to be sitting on the floor and we don't have our normal Set oh, yeah. it going, so it so, probably sounds a little bit different than normal. Just pretend it's like Christmas morning. So I got how much RAM does it have? We got the base model, so ours was six grand, <laughs> not the fifty-two thousand dollar maxed out model. Yeah. Ooh. Base. Oh my gosh! Even is it heavy? Base. A lot of people were saying it was pretty oh, heavy. Oh wow! That's just like you could drop that off a truck for sure. Oh, you can. Yeah. Let's put this over here. All right. So what are we looking at? Uh, there's this really cool halo on the top. <laughs> you can see this. I'm like, that's really appealing to me. Everything is so pretty. Uh, everything's very well designed in here, obviously. Um, I don't know. They're like PC, like build a PC people have been like pretty good about making things like, like very tidy and cute inside and color coordinated and everything. But like, dang, like <laughs> that's some that's some design in there. Everything is in its little packet, and we have. All kinds of fan action, obviously behind the grates. Oh man, we you guys, these are coming in so fast. Over here, we have green ooh, cheese. Some locks here. Oh, that's awesome. 
So what is it so that you are satisfying? Ooh. I'm pretty sure this is RAM <laughs> that I'm looking at in here. It's got tons and tons of slots, but it looks like we've got some, some dims in there if we can see in that shadow. Um, and then again, we have here ports and expansion. Lots of places for cards. So I don't know, is, is this where the $52,000 comes in? Probably, probably elsewhere as well, probably more cards and stuff would be. So this is a huge, huge difference from the last Mac Pro that we saw, which was pretty much not upgradable, had like, what, four ports? It, upgradable. Upgradable. But yeah, very, very limited, very tiny. Um, if you wanted to do anything, it had to be through like external uh, connections. And, and it looked like, like a trash can. Built in. And it looked, like, it looked like a trash can. This is really pretty. This is like a super space age looking yeah. device. Yeah. So it's pretty neat. It has ports on top as well. I don't know if you saw that. Yes, yeah, so we only have ports. two USB-A ports on the top. I know that NKBHD in his unboxing was complaining about that. Uh, but we do have a bevy of ports, a lot more than last time. Yeah, more, more options. Um, is there anybody on the planet that is going to use the base model without any expansion? You never know. I, I mean, if you, like, you can buy the base model and then expand it yourself, it's probably, like, the solution that people are looking for, and then you can, like, Hackintosh or whatever, wait for um, different expansion kits that will come out later. Um, who knows, maybe NVIDIA eventually? Sure maybe, yeah, so out. that is something that pros have been complaining about. They really wanted NVIDIA card support and they didn't get it, um, so sad. Um, also, the built-in storage is proprietary, so mm -hmm. if you are looking to buy this, uh, you know, keep that in mind. And I would like to know who is looking to buy this, so if you guys are looking to buy this, uh, tell me why in the chat and yeah. what configuration you will take because there's like a billion of permutations. Yeah, it feels very pro for sure, so <laughs> I'm not going to buy it. I'll just put myself on that list as far as personal use. But it's really great. We've got Phillips here. Um, this is like this is like the first time I've seen Phillips screws like on the outside of a Mac device. Um, the, we didn't even need any tools, obviously. Yeah, to it just came right off. Which is cool. Um, we've got thumb screws for the, the PCI ports here, oh, nice. which also are uh, Phillips if you want to thread that. Oh, that was great. Just pops awesome. right out. So yeah, captive there. That's awesome. Uh, numbers. We have like numbered sections here for the different sections. Um, I hope I'm not like, how staticky is it to like rotate something around on carpet? <laughs> Sorry, we're a little bit out of our element on the floor. Actually, no, this is my element because I actually really enjoy working from yeah. the floor. So this is nice. All right, I'm gonna go after these these RAM slots because I'm very excited about. Ooh, they just push right out. Yeah, so these are just like little baffle covers. Here. So uh, the fully maxed out model is like what north of fifty thousand, and that comes yeah. with one terabyte, one point five terabytes of RAM. Is that what I read? A preposterous amount. I don't even know how to conceptualize how much RAM that is because this I've, is yeah. Um, your um, oh my gosh, your electrical panel in your house has like little labels like this, and now your RAM does too. You can tell where all of your slots are. That's so cute. <laughs> That's exactly what Apple was going for when they designed this cute, just for Sam. Just for Sam, all right. I'm like, hopefully it's not like eject, right? It's probably, whew, that's okay. Just felt really solid. Uh, we did have a question of where the speaker mm -hmm. is. Uh, that's definitely something that we're gonna investigate in the teardown where the built-in speakers are, so you'll have to tune love back in it. on Monday. Oh, I just love these. They're so nice. So those just pop right out. Whoa. I'm gonna do the other one just for fun. I mean, this is not interesting to you guys at all, probably, but the, like, the mechanical design of this is so, so cool. So did it feel really durable? So obviously, anytime you pop something in and out, like... This is this is a little, I don't know, weird. Like, I wouldn't cozy. expect this, like, flexible from uh, Apple, but it's, I mean, it's just like a bump cover basically to make sure that the RAM is protected. Um, but everything else, like the, the slides and the buttons and the clips feel like really, really solid for sure. All right. All right. Um, I don't know, how much do we want to do? Uh, I don't know, let's pop some modules out. Do you want to look at the, the MQX? Man, I, you know what? I, I can't tell you. <laughs> okay, we're, yeah. We can pop that out. We've got Phillips 
number one, I think. Um, yeah, so it's really weird that we just get to use a Phillips screwdriver to work on an Apple device, and that's great. I mean, PC towers are really kind of like the gold standard for repairability, so mm -hmm. it's really nice to see them move to this design where everything is so modular. Uh, we we're kind of wondering what to show you in the teardown because even Apple's support page is great. They have a yeah, service manual already up on how yeah. to upgrade things. Um, not allowed to replace your own SSD, though. Not allowed to replace your own SSD, but uh, you know, one day in a perfect world, we'd love to see that for all devices where you have a support page and everything ready to go before a device is sold, so you know exactly what you're getting into and what configurations to buy, so you can keep a device with you for a long time. Mm -hmm. No glue included. Correct. Yeah, so far. Um, these screws are all captive too, which is nice. So you're not going to be losing them inside your, <laughs> inside your case. A uh, little rail here kind of protecting the different slots. Is it possible to disassemble the steel frame? So I'll uh, get to that later. But I, no. We can like look inside of it. It's kind of a single piece, I think. Well, Sam investigates. Oh, nope, I'm, this is heavier than I expected. <laughs> I'm not you. going to grab I that. You. Uh, oh, should you be grating cheese while I'm Oh, doing things? would you guys like me to grate some cheese? So, I guess I could do that. Let's. Okay. Oh, so we brought a cheese grater for comparison, and that's some nice sharp cheddar. So I'll just go ahead. Uh, we'll just do this one, or actually this the one. The big one. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's gonna be the most equivalent. We need a fair comparison here. Yeah. So here we have some nice sharp cheddar, and uh, I'll just keep grating, and you keep going. All right. I'm gonna make a mess in the video studio, and they're gonna be so happy about it. Sorry, Who doesn't Michael. Want cheese on the floor. And then let's see here. Oh. Okay. Cheese. Oh. This is. Are you guys ready for this? I feel like really bad about clogging up. Oh, it's okay. They don't need dust filters. They're fine. Yeah, that's super. I'll talk about that in a second. We can, but we can clean it out. Yeah. We took oh, it out. Just oh, wow, feel it works bad, so good. But it does work pretty good. I mean, it's really filling it up with cheese oh, a lot more. Oh, no. Than, but there's, we've got some, we've got we got some, some, we've got some uh, great. Oh, yeah, that's it. It just fills it. So this is <laughs> not a good cheese grater. We can go ahead and put that clean down to rest. Oh man, it just filled right in here, and that's pretty horrible. Gross. Sorry, teardown team. You'll have to clean that later for the teardown. We only bought one unit. But uh, yeah, so that was like really anticlimactic. I really, really thought I would it's, get something better out of sharp. that. Like, is it a different angle kind of situation? No, no, that's just bigger chunks in there. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, what are you um, working on? Clearly, should have read the service documentation first. I don't remember if I know the the power supply was in there, um, the PCIe slots were in there, um, oh. but the the I can't quite get this guy out right now, and I don't want to super damage anything. I've got to like somehow like get it out of the port slot first. So we'll get to the we'll get to the teardown and let this just be the extremely brief teardown. We're going to talk about the fans a little bit and this case design. Oh yeah, sure. Cool. So there are the oh, fans will probably come out. We've got more uh, Phillips screws in here, so some yeah. Point, this will probably come. So I there was a really good popular mechanics article where they actually interviewed one of the engineers who worked on the fan. So of course, Apple designed a whole new fan because they're Apple. Um, and he was saying that it was what was he saying? Uh, he designed it not just to be quieter, but he was saying that like if you're gonna have a noise You want it to be pleasant. So he'd rather have a loud pleasant noise than like <laughs> a quiet annoying noise So um, that went into the fan designs. So we have three fans here and then one out the back to blow out the hot air um, There the specs on this are just so beefy. So this cooling system had to be ultra improved um, and then also the lattice design here is supposed to allow for the free flow of air. Um, it does not allow for the free flow of cheese. As you can <laughs> see, it got stuck in there. Well, if we turn it on, it'll just like... Yeah. Great. Um, but people are saying that it is a lot quieter. And by people, I mean like the three reviewers that I've seen that have it so far. 
Uh, but it is supposedly a lot quieter. Maybe we can test that a little bit later. Um, but one of the reasons that it is quieter is there's no dust filtration system. So how much of a problem do you think dust will be for ooh, the Mac Pro? I mean, I, it's, I guess it's yet to be seen. Uh, it's kind of like lifted up off the floor a lot more than the previous Mac Pro was, at least the 2013 one. Um, we're kind of back to the G5 uh, form factor which should be nicer. And obviously this is super easy to open up and clean. So there you go. Like yeah. maybe that's the solution. It's just maintainable and not necessarily dust proof. Um, oh, okay. So I talked earlier about um, opening the, the lid, turns mm -hmm. off the power. So we can see oh, here, the, we've got like little pin contacts up here. That's where the power button is. And that lines up with the power button on the case. And then, I don't know, we'll see if our camera can get down the depths of this device, but you can see the corresponding spring contacts, the gold in there. So it's not necessarily the handle turning that turns the computer off. It's actually lifting it up and separating that, I believe. I can move um, this cheese out of your way. Which will turn the, turn the device off so you can safely work on it, which is great. Uh, yeah, so we really just wanted to do a silly video real quick just to give you guys a quick, a quick <laughs> glimpse inside <laughs> this thing. Uh, we'll be doing a full teardown um, Monday, so look out for this Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Um, we will be cleaning out the cheese. Recovered from the holiday party. <laughs> but that's kind of all we got for you guys. Um, and so don't forget that... We are running a contest. We will give you $50 for, what did we say we wanted? A, a photoshopped solution to our poor, like, wheelless problem for our MacBook, uh, or MacBook, Mac Pro. Um, and if it's really good, I really want to include it in the teardown itself. So, like, you know, keep your, keep your Photoshop fingers ready. And we'll be looking for that. And if you don't win, we do have a promo going for the rest of December. If you use code FIXMAS10 at checkout, you will get $10 off orders, $50 or more. So everyone wins. Yeah. And as always, social us anywhere on Twitter or Instagram or wherever. And tell us what you want to know about the teardown. Yeah. All right. And with that, I guess we'll just be eating some cheese. Great. Yeah. Merry Fixmas, everyone. Merry Fixmas. <laughs> <laughs>